And let me just review as well, excuse me, sir. Um, you have, everyone has five minutes. There's a red, yellow, green light indicator. Um, at, with a two minute warning, the yellow light will come on and then five minutes are up when the red light comes on. And um, uh, again, if you've not presented your comments in writing, please make those available to us so we can put them on the web. Okay, Mr. Dessen, please. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mike Dessen. I've had myalgic encephalomyelitis for 14 years, a disease that is unjustly named chronic fatigue syndrome in the U.S. I had one of the most severe cases of ME-CFS ever recorded with subsequent remission. At the, worst, at the worst stage of my illness, which was about a year ago, I suffered beyond what most humans can comprehend. I was completely bedridden and unable to lean up for more than a few inches. I was una unable to read, write, understand words when spoken to, or complete a thought process. Even a bit of thinking would hyperstimulate my nervous system too much. I had severe dementia. I couldn't see the walls around me. Neurological dysfunction, too obscure to put into words. In the last month, time, not sleeping, but literally unconscious. I was basically comatose. I'm nearly six foot three, and last December I weighed 102 pounds. I had heart failure, severe pancreatitis, and my lungs collapsed. My body was produ producing just enough energy to sustain a heartbeat. To make things even worse, I was, I was confined to a pitch black room, isolated from the world. Unable to tolerate the slightest bit of light or noise much of the time. I had sensory overload so bad I couldn't be touched, as it was too stimulating. The consequences of being overstimulated resulted in further exhaustion and seizures. In addition, I had extreme chemical and electromagnetic frequency sensitivities. Needless to say, I had to be in a very special environment to stay alive. It is painstakingly difficult to care for someone in the condition I was in. I was as sick as an end-stage AIDS and MS patient put together. Immune deficiency similar to what an AIDS patient presents and more nervous system abnormalities than most MS patients. <clears throat> but I don't have MS or AIDS. I have a disease called chronic fatigue.